I don't make too many videos and I ain't made a video in a minute. <clears throat> but I felt compelled to make this video. It's 7.02. I'm not sure I'm awake yet. Don't judge my shirt. If you judge my shirt, you have to judge my whole tattoo. So it's just not worth it. So <clears throat> what's up, everybody? Um, I'm Silas. I am a relocated southerner living in the north. And I love it. <clears throat> so I saw this stuff online the other day because, you know, algorithms and, and sneaky stuff. And you, you get advertisements for things that you might want to try. And I had tried this product in the past or, or it's... I had tried its sister product in the past. And I wasn't really impressed. But I figured, what the hell... We'll give it a shot. So, um, I am a dipper. This is my weapon of choice. Um, Cope Long Straight. I'll do other varieties of Cope, but Long Straight is my go-to. You know, I mean, it, if I'm going to dip, I, I, I want it to taste like an ashtray. <laughs> Listen. I'll never tell anybody Copenhagen Long Straight tastes good. Um, it is an acquired taste. So I saw this this product from Outlaw, which I'm sure that many of you who dip and are on the internet have heard, seen. Um, and it is a new product, or relatively new, that is tobacco and nicotine free. Now... Do I want to stop dipping? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, should I stop dipping? My gums say yes. Um, so, I figured what the hell. i give this a try. I got like the, the pick your six pack. Relatively... I mean, I say relatively inexpensive, but what I got six cans for, I think, 25 bucks. So, you know, about par for the par for the course um, with other dips. So I got Backwoods Berry. I think I got two of those. And like some of the flavors I was, mm, nah, no. Nah. So I got two Backwoods Berries. Um can is nice. It's, it's pretty commensurate, you know. Fits the hole that you've already made in the back of your jeans. Watermelon. And peach. So there were a bunch of other flavors, but uh, before I had tried the, I think it was the Lucky Lipper or something. It's supposed to be like Sprite. Uh, it wasn't for me. Um, I'm not going to throw shade to the product itself because it's been so long since I tried it. Um, but just the flavor overall wasn't, wasn't my kind of thing. I mean, look. I obviously have no taste. <laughs> so, <laughs> I obviously don't care what it tastes like. So... <clears throat> right out the package. These are these are nice. Package nice. Um, they put my sticker on crooked. My feelings are a little hurt. Um, so see that outlaw. Feelings are a little hurt. But um, nice packaging. I will tell you when this comes in the mail, you will one hundred percent smell it. Like the. Oh. Package smells good. Um, I can't really smell out the can though. It's like they it's like they take this package and they go and and blow scent in it to like entice you and then send it to you. But 
Um, I thought before when I had it, you could kind of smell it, but right now I'm not, I'm not smelling anything. So, um, I'm figuring we'll, we'll throw one of them in, uh, give it a shot. Whew, tough choice. 7 a.m. on a Friday morning in wonderful Delaware. Um, I'm going to save the peach. I don't feel like peach is a morning thing. But we got the blueberry and we got the watermelon. Now, I think I tried the watermelon in the past, but I don't remember. And I'm pretty interested in the watermelon. But I'm feeling like blueberry is a breakfast thing. So that's blueberry. So again, nice can, nice packaging. You know, on par with your, not your Copenhagen's of the world, but your, your, um, I mean, packaged pretty much like, uh, Grizzly, um, Timberwolf, that kind of stuff. So let's see what we get here. And again, 100% tobacco, nicotine free. Net weight is 1.2 ounces. Deer Park, New York. Underage sale prohibited. Damn you. All right, so let's see if we can get you over here without making too much drama. So here's your, your view kind of. Um, it looks pretty, pretty similar to Kopi. Um, I could tell you right now just from tapping it that it's, uh, stickier. I don't have any fancy, I mean, I do have a mud jug somewhere. I think it's under the seat of my truck. Um, and I have one of the other early mud jugs in the kitchen, but honestly, I don't, I didn't care for the early design, and I haven't gone and bought another one, so I don't know if it's changed. So, you know, I spit in the royalty of the South, Dr. Pepper bottle. Right, like like you couldn't pick a Sprite bottle or something that doesn't look like dip already. It's a setup. All right, so let's see what we get here. All right, all right, all right. Mm, a little looser and grainier than Cope, which I was expecting. So, get this here. Definitely a little messier than Cope. We'll see how it settles in here. Or if I spit half of it out when I spit the first time. I mean, right off the bat, it tastes great. How long will it taste great? That is another question, but... We're not gonna answer that question today, I hope. Yeah, it's got a good, it's a, it's a, it's a subtle flavor. It doesn't really wanna stay where I put it. And I hate that. Um, Note outlaw, maybe, I know it's sacrilegious, but if you put it in pouches, because it's not a bad product, it's a little loosey-goosey though, and uh, I hate constantly spitting out dip, like I want it to, like after the first 
30 seconds a minute. I wanted to settle into my lip and just be there. I, I don't want to have to think about, oh, here comes another chunk. <laughs> it sounds, it sounds horrible, but, but that's the way it is. So we're, we're constantly kind of spitting out little pieces, but yeah, I mean, thought wise, like in my brain, I could, I could probably be fooled into thinking this was just another lip of coat. Um, it certainly doesn't taste like a dirty ashtray. The flavor is good. Um, yeah, I just don't, I'm just not sold on the, on the, on the whole texture kind of. Like, I don't want to say that. The texture is good. I'm not sold on the fact that it keeps wanting to kind of squirt around and, and, and move around in my mouth. That's all. Like, it's not packing up solid enough to not squirt out the sides. But, I mean, overall... Not bad. Will I buy it again? We'll see. Let me get through the six cans. Um, right now, I would say probably not. Just because of the squirt factor. But we'll see. It may grow on me. And you'll see some reviews where people are like, oh, it lost its flavor after the first 30 minutes. Or it lost its flavor after... L listen. You keep anything in your mouth for that long, it's going to lose its flavor. The flavor is not a deal breaker. I mean, the flavor is a nice bonus. Uh... More little pieces. Yeah, the flavor's a bonus. So, I mean, if you can get the satisfaction of dipping out of something that is not absolutely freaking terrible for you, maybe not such a bad trade-off. Oh! Yeah, it's, it's definitely squirting all over the place. All right, well, that's about it. Um, yeah, you know, maybe uh, when I crack the other flavors, I'll give you a little snippet of review on those, but I, I assume the consistency and texture is, is going to pretty much remain the same throughout all of them. Um, but we'll catch up.